Belize, a former British colony, once known as British Honduras, achieved independence on September 21, 1981. The longest barrier reef in the Western Hemisphere, beautiful Mayan ruins, and untouched rainforests are just some of its treasures. Wildlife and exotic birds welcome us to this land of endless adventure. On this journey, we will discover the world of Belizean musicians. And Belizean musicians, like the rest of the population, are a blend of diverse ethnicities. Mayan, Mestizo, Creole, and Gary Funa. Although most Mayas mysteriously vanished about 3,000 years ago, some of their direct blood descendants still live in the out district of Belize. Visiting Mayan villages is like taking a trip back through time. Mayas still live in thatched roof huts, sleep in hammocks, and every day eat their staple dish homemade corn tortillas and chicken stew. Ferenzo Mess, a descendant of the Quechimayans, is renowned in Belize for carrying on his ancestors' musical heritage. I got 16 years. I go and see the people where they play the fiesta, that time you call it fiesta. But now they never do it again. So now, I see this man is playing right there. Nice music. So I say, may God help me to do that. Mayan music is not written down. It's passed down from generation to generation. Lorenzo Mess is not only a musician, he constructs his own instruments by cutting and carving logs and materials taken directly from the jungle. I am part Maya, and I'm a, a mestizo. No? Mestizo means um, a mixture of Maya and, and the Spaniards came there, they mixed. In 1508, the Spanish invaded Belize. They burned, killed, and destroyed the Mayas and nearly everything to do with their culture and identity. Rufino draws his inspiration from ancient Mayan history and his father's musical legacy. The oldest traces of Mayan civilization are found in Belize. In the 18th century, thousands of Africans were transported to work as slaves in the logging camps. They formed the basis of the Creole culture and broke down music. The 
king of Brockdown music is Mr. Peters, a descendant of African loggers. When after a hard day's work in the plantation and yeah. so, we just them. In the night, yeah. my father would pick up a little like I was playing with his strong, and he yell again. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he could have played good, but oh, he would be good. <laughs> Belize City is the country's urban center, yet still carries an old world charm. The staple dish of Creole diet is rice and beans, and most Belizeans eat it every day. We really didn't have a music for Belize. Belize didn't have a music with a name that was international, you know, so uh, me and my band, Unity, we decided to create a song by the name of Congo. Congo has an African element to it. Yeah. It's also a Creole word. It's not English. And uh, we, we, it means like, let's go. Dangriga is also the home of the Garifuna people, who fled the island of St. Vincent to escape slavery and landed on the southern shore of Belize in 1832.
this traditional setting, Kaifuna music involved the use of two drums, a larger drum called the segundo and a smaller drum called the primero. The music is African. And once we have that in perspective, then we won't have no misunderstanding about what we are doing. Everything will be very clear to us. We will understand why we use the drums so much. Here lives and works Mr. Rodriguez, whose family for generations has made drums for many Belizean musicians. Garifuna drumming carries on the African rhythms of punta and paranda. Garifuna people are less than 7% of the population, but their music and their culture has had an enormous impact on the rest of the country. Mm -hmm. 